Hello, teacher Jackie here in my virtual living room. Looks like a hotel. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> my Airbnb. No, not promoting that. I don't know. I could get paid saying that or not. But anyway, um, welcome to my video to talk about, speaking of that, making money. That was not an intentional segue. So how much are we making now with VIP Kid? Everyone knows that everyone dropped at least a dollar or two <clears throat> after the Ministry of Education decided to greatly change rules. But now, 2023, everything is ramping back up and it feels back to normal. But does the pay feel normal? Well, I'm here to tell you my personal experience. I will not tell you exact numbers, but I will tell you how to do um, the math, if you will, not a math teacher. <laughs> if I was, I wouldn't be here. I'd be teaching math at another uh, platform that's desperately needing math teachers. So um, yeah, if you know math or science, accounting and something else, there's tons of money to be made on another platform. Well, tons of money. What's tons of money? Just everyone has their own definition. So let's do this. Okay. You get your base pay right? A VIP kid. Now, VIP kid has many flavors of classes. They have the mainland China. Yes, foreign teachers, you can go back and teach kids in China. There's also Tiger School, which is another platform. They have the global platform. They have Tutor Me platform. They have a few others. When you go in there, you can see. And they have different contracts and they have different base pay. And with that being said, they also have different um, fees for canceling classes, missing classes. Um, and then the only one I know of that has incentive or additional pay is the mainland China classes. So let me explain. Back in 2018-19 and early 2020, when everything was normal, um, there was a base pay. Plus you could do short notice. So if you pay, got short notice, you got short notice. Well, base pay, you got, well, the old school school, you got a dollar coming in and a dollar going out. Then they switched to a tier um, model. So I think that was 2019, 2020. Everyone didn't like that. They felt like they got a huge pay cut. In fact, some probably did, but most of us didn't. Because after you did the math, I'll explain. So tier one, two, three, each, no, no. Based on your total classes taught, you get a tier. Based on your tier, you get so much additional pay, incentive pay, based on the quantity of classes, zero to 20 classes, you would get 80 cents extra on top of your base. 21 to 40 classes, you get $1.20. 41 to, I think it's 90, it jumps. Maybe it's, I don't know, can't remember the numbers, but you get more like $2.80. And it goes from like $80, $1.20, $1.80, two twenty to something. But it just keeps going. The more classes you teach that month, calendar month, you get this incentive pay. All of that incentive pay is distributed at the end of the month or after the month is completed. Does that make sense? Sorry, I don't have charts. I don't have <clears throat> a shared screen to show it. I just think it's best to just let you know that this is possible. And what's great is when I added up my classes, my short notices, my incentive pay, and divided it by quantity of classes and such, I was getting back up there. So that's where I will now tell you some numbers. Most teachers are making a base pay of $7 per 25 minute class, $14 an hour, if you wanna look at it that way. And then with a short notice, if you're doing mainland China short notice, you get the extra $2, okay? I still get short notice. I had taught two today that were short notice. I think one was actually a student no-show, so I got the money. Oh yeah, trials. I 
will say the trial student no-shows are half. I believe so. But the trials are base pay. Everything looks pretty good there. So at the end of the month, one month ago, I taught a ton of classes. School is out. I just taught, I usually teach 20 classes a week, but I ramped it up to almost 49, seven times seven classes a week. So <laughs> like double, triple, quadruple, I don't know. Again, math's not my thing. And I taught a lot of classes. I think I averaged around five to six classes a day, seven days a week. Got my base pay, got my incentive pay, got my, you know, the tiers, got my short notices, all these things. And at the end of the month, after doing all the math, it came up to almost, well, between 18 and $20 an hour. That may or may not be good for you. You may be like, that's still bad. I can make the same at this fast food or that fast food. But think about it. I did not use gas. I did not fight traffic. I did not have to find a parking spot. I did not have to get a shower or dressed, a shirt, pull back my hair, throw on some makeup. You know, it's just time and money. So yeah, I could make more outside of the house. I'm spending it in gas. Here at home, I am spending it in light, electricity, internet, uh, equipment, headphones, um, camera, but that's a one-time cost, which is, by the way, tax deductible as an independent contractor. Um, maybe I'll do another video on tax questions. Even if you buy lipstick, which I never wear lipstick other than class. Right off. Tax, right off. Mascara, lipstick, headband. I don't normally wear these things. I purchase them for my work. <laughs> ring light. I don't have one, actually. I'm using uh, um, one of these lights. I'll show you real quick. I hope you can't see it. One of those lights. And then I have a piece of paper. I cover it for a diffuser. All right, enough of that. But anyways, getting paid. So if 16, 18, 20 dollars, 18, $20 sounds good to you, then come back or stay or work more. Um, if even $14 an hour, because I know when VIP kid was gone, not as an option, and my other options left. It was so sad that like some of the other companies I was with. I was looking and they were like seven an hour, an hour, 11 an hour. At that point, I was like, uh, my mental health and my sleep was more important. We just lived very frugally, <laughs> if that makes sense. So, now it's great to be back. It's great to be making money. And again, share it with you on what those numbers really, really mean. And hopefully this helps you see it all or at least hear it. Um, I didn't show you anything. So hopefully um, it makes sense. If it does, comment below, like, subscribe, share. And I'm glad you're here. And uh, yeah, sorry if this video was or wasn't the best. I do my best. Um, yeah. Talk to you later. Happy teaching. Bye-bye.